Now to an I-Team investigation. We know that uh, with the school shootings, it's not a matter of if, but when. Tragically, we do know that all too well here in Connecticut, but the I-Team has uncovered some disturbing statistics. A handful of districts are not following school safety laws created after Sandy Hook. And this is an investigation parents need to see, of course, as children head back to school. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell joins us now with more on the laws. Specifically, Matthew, we understand meant to keep students safe. Yeah, Mark and Denise, it's a law that's a direct result of Sandy Hook. And when it was passed in 2013, everyone gravitated toward the gun aspect. But flying under the radar were these requirements for schools and the security enhancements that were to be implemented. But five years later, we learned a significant number of districts aren't in compliance. As Crystal Taylor Tornio prepares to send her children back to school, safety is always on her mind. All the time. I think that even with the kids, I if there's something that I'm concerned about, I call the school. And but her sense of security is shaken after learning that according to the state, Old Lyme was one of the school districts that didn't submit its security plan to them last school year. It kind of makes me a little bit worried that it's not one of their priorities. After the tragedy in Sandy Hook, lawmakers passed a comprehensive bill that required districts to enhance security. The bill gives examples of reinforcing entryways, installing bullet resistant glass and computer controlled electronic locks. Cindy Fisher is the lead security and residency officer at Bloomfield Schools. She says the state presents a variety of scenarios. The most severe would be the intruder into the building to anywhere from whether it's a fire, whether it's floods, anything like that. The state then gives suggestions of how to prepare for those scenarios and schools are tasked with proving they can meet those issues. They gave you the template which they wanted you to follow and then you fill in all the blanks that you can that are appropriate with your district. Even if the plan doesn't change much from year to year, districts still need to submit them to the Department of Emergency Services and Public Protection each year by November 1st. Eyewitness News obtained a list from the state of the districts in compliance last school year. The ones here in yellow submitted plans. They cover the majority of the state. The districts in red, covering 39 cities and towns, didn't. You may notice several districts around Newtown weren't in compliance. Rocky Hill was the lone district in Hartford County that failed to show its plan. Bloomfield is a district that has done it each year. After Sandy Hook, it just rocked everybody in the state. And so it's what they came up with to encourage everybody to do it. We took these stats to Representative Joe Varengia. He has 25 years of law enforcement experience and now sits as the House Chair of the Public yeah. Safety Committee. I'm beyond disappointed. Quite frankly, I'm sickened the fact that um, there's such lack of compliance. So are parents. Some are worried that the tragedy, now nearly six years old, has faded from the minds of administrators. Considering all of the everything being in the media with all of the other tragedies that have happened in the country, um, you would think that all of that would jog their memory. I wouldn't say it's been forgotten, but the emphasis and the debate that gets all the attention in the legislature is about guns, when in reality, I believe, where the attention should lie is enhancing school security to make our kids safe. Now, if you really want to pour over the map for yourself, we have a list of all the districts that are in compliance. You can find that right now on the WFSB app. This is really stunning, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. What will we see tomorrow? Well, tomorrow, I'm sure a lot of parents after watching this, they want to know, hey, for the districts that aren't in compliance, why not? Well, we are going to these districts, getting those answers, and you may be surprised with what they have to say. All right. Much more as well on the Channel 3 app.